Hey everybody, this is uh, Dr. Anderson. I'm going to talk to you about heel pain, plantar fasciitis. It's a really common uh, patient that's Craig that we have here. And uh, one of the things we do here, besides using orthotics, which is really common in the treatment of plantar fasciitis because we're wanting, wanting to reduce the pulling of your fascia from your heel bone, uh, but Craig also elected to do stem cell, which is something we do quite often. We use regenerative medicine. We actually use placenta cells that are from actually the umbilical cord. It's called Wharton's jelly. And we've been doing this for a long time, like 18 years. And the thing that's really cool about him, he's back. It's only been four weeks and he's what? You said 90%? I would say 80 to 90%. 80 89% better. Mm -hmm. uh, he's able to walk the dog, do all these things that normally would be causing him a lot of pain. In fact, mowing the yard, no pain. <laughs> so one thing I want to mention to you, he had really bad fascia problems. And when you look at it with an ultrasound machine, normal measurement of the fascia should only be about four millimeters thick where it attaches to the heel. Most patients that come in to see us are going to be six, seven, or eight millimeters thick. And I think he was like over between nine. eight and nine, over nine, yeah. over nine millimeters, extremely thick. So it's amazing that he's doing this well that fast. Some people might take two months to get that much better, but he's doing it at four weeks. So, and this is a grid we use to show people that come in uh, how severe their, their fascia is in terms of thickness. And uh, there's a really interesting study by a doctor named Harvey Lamont. He took specimens of the fascia, submitted them to a lab. Only one out of 50 came back showing that the fascia was actually inflamed. So it's really tissue that's deteriorating. It's not inflammatory. And that's why repairing with stem cell works best not Corazon. So anyway, thank you for watching. And he's a perfect example of why we use this all the time in our practice. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and I hope this was educational for you.